All right, so let's uh, let's focus now on uh, on working on the uh, the questions right for the for the quiz right. If you remember the uh, data model, uh, a quiz was made up of multiple questions, right? Uh, and so let's see how we can model this. Uh, there's there's a couple ways of modeling this. Um, if this were, was a relational database, uh, typically the way you would model a one-to-many relationship is at the uh, on the on the one side, right? Uh, I'm sorry, in the, the quiz you have a one-to-many. On the many side, uh, the questions would have a foreign key back to the, uh, some primary key in the quiz, right? The, the parent-child relationship, typically it is a child who has a reference back to the parent, right? That's, uh, that's t a normal uh, uh, um, relational database. Uh, that's how you would implement it, okay? Uh, the, other, the other way to implement it is to instead have a mapping uh, a relationship here that would have a reference to the quiz and a reference to the to the uh, to the question, saying that these questions belong to that to that quiz. Right? That's another alternative of implementation. We're not going to use either one of those implementations. Instead, we're going to use um, the the literal implementation that you would you would follow if this were an object-oriented uh, language. Right? And typically, in that implementation, it is the parent who has uh, a collection of of, uh, of references. Uh, to their children, right? That's how you would implement it using Java, right? Using either an array or or an array list uh, or a list or a collection, right? And it would be that the quiz would have a collection or array of questions, exactly how this is uh, being documented here in the UML diagram. Yes, uh, which is impossible if this were a relational database. Uh, so so let's uh, let's look at uh, how we would implement it. Uh, so first let's let's uh, let's um, look at implementing uh, modeling the question itself. Right. So the, the question, now here we have a schema for the question. Right. It's, uh, it's what you would expect. Uh, you would have, um, a, we would load, uh, load mongoose, we would create a, a schema, a, and, and we would uh, just um, you know, do all the, the different uh, types, data types here, the title, the, uh, how many points, description, question type. And they, here they are, right, title, uh, points, right, it's a number as opposed to a string. A description is also a string, right? And, and here's, here's another one that, um, that's a, a little more interesting. Question type. Uh, question type is a string, right? That's how it's documented, right? Just as a, as a string. But we are going to do some validation, right? We're going to say that it's not any string. It has to be a string from the following set, right? From the following set, meaning it's an enumerated data type, okay? Uh, notice that the question type is a string. There it is. It says type colon string, but it can't be just any string. It has to be either essay, fill blanks, true, false, choice, and whatnot. Right? If I try to create an instance or insert an instance of this object into a database where the question type is not essay or fill in the blanks, it'll fail. Right? It'll come back with a big error saying that, uh, that the question type is not the right data type. Make sense? Okay, uh, which is nice, right? We we uh, we kind of had uh, started thinking that uh, maybe the mongoose world was, was kind of like a, a a wild the wild west, right? You could do whatever you want, uh, and uh, but but again, I had mentioned that a lot of the 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 responsibility of of uh, validation that uh, have uh, uh, for always been uh, the responsibility of the database. A lot of that responsibility is moving over to the application side. And this is where we are. This is the application side. We're using a library. The library is doing all this validation, not Mongoose. Not, I'm sorry, not MongoDB. Mongoose, uh, because we are using this model and we're doing the create, right? Uh, it's going to validate whatever we give it. The JSON object that we give it will validate it against the schema. If it's not, it will it will throw an exception. Make sense? Make sense? But this is at the application level. It never makes it to a database. The database never even sees sees the, the insert. Right, because Mongo stops it and validates our schema. Make sense? All right. Uh, we also created uh, here a uh, model uh, for creating a question. Uh, and uh, this, these are the, the, the common things you would expect for any, any model. Right? We have uh, some of the CRUD operations. I didn't implement all of them. I just implemented a few. Uh, implemented, um, uh, I required uh, the schema, which is a question schema. and also loaded the question model, 
I created a question model based on that schema. Um, and, uh, and then I created a couple of the CRUD uh, functions. I didn't implement all of them. I only implemented uh, the create question. I implemented a find all questions. And I also implemented the find question by ID. All right, those are the more common ones. Uh, but certainly, you would want here also the delete. Uh, the update would go here. Uh, let's see. And, uh, and then I expose uh, the API uh, through an export. Make sense? So nothing, nothing um, uh, too exciting here. Uh, other than the uh, just careful with the, uh, when, you, when you do an insert, when you do a create or an update, right? if that, if that um, question type is not from this enumerated data type, it'll throw an exception. Right? So I just wanted to show you how to handle that exception. Right? What happens uh, if we inadvertently um, uh, provide an object that doesn't meet this schema? Well, we can do that at the service le le uh, level. Here at the, uh, I also implemented on the services, um, I implemented a question service. Uh, and I only implemented the question just to point out uh, how to handle this. Uh, so here's a create question. Right? Here's create question. Um, it's using the question model. So we're, we are generating the questions individually. So the questions exist independently of the of the of the quiz. Remember, we, we mentioned yesterday yeah, that that uh, we wanted to be able to manipulate and, and and manage questions independently on what what quiz were they being used, right? And that's why we decided uh, to have them in separate collections, right? And that we would have the uh, the quizzes just referencing the, the 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 questions, so that you could maybe reuse the same question in different quizzes, okay? Uh, so so this is the the model that does this. So here's a service for the uh, for the question. Uh, we load the we load the model. We we here's the implementation of the uh, creating a question. There's the API. If we post to API slash question, we handle that in the create question. Right. Uh, we uh, we use the model to um, to create the question and we parse the question from the body of the UR, of the uh, HTTP request. Right. So that's not, nothing new there. Uh, what's new here is that uh, we might get an exception. Right. Um, so, so the way we handle that is that uh, in the, the, the then, right, that, um, uh, that handles the promise that comes back from the, from the model, uh, takes two arguments. Takes two arguments. We've been using, so far, we've been using only one of them. Okay? Uh, that first argument is a function that is called if the, if the uh, interaction with the database is successful. Right? If nothing bad happened, everything OK, um, and it's a success function, right? We call it a success function. Now, the second argument, which we haven't used before, right, is the error function. Right? We can provide a callback right, to handle anything that went wrong when we try to uh, insert right, or update or whatever, anything wrong that the database might, uh, uh, might complain about. Right? And, uh, and that function passes us, uh, we pass a callback, and it passes us, it calls that callback function with an error object. Right. And that object, in this particular case, we're just echoing back the error uh, back to the client. Right. So uh, we could handle it here, maybe massage it a little bit, dress it up a little bit before sending it over to the, uh, to the, to the, to the client. Here we're just sending the entire error object back to the, uh, back to the uh, uh, client. So I did want to uh, um, uh, demo uh, this. Uh, we, we're, we, uh, 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 we already have a couple of uh, um, questions that have been inserted. Uh, let's see, we have a DB. Um, we can um, show the collections here, show collections. Uh, and indeed, we have a question collection that we, we didn't have yesterday. So I inserted a couple of questions to try it out. Uh, we say db.question.find.pretty. And there, we have two questions, question one and question two. Um, and we have just some, some generic uh, titles, some generic points, descriptions. Uh, but notice that both of them are different types, question type essay and question type fill blanks. Right? And indeed, those are two uh, strings that are taken from the, from the schema. Otherwise, it wouldn't have worked. Right? So from the, it, it needs to be taken from this schema right here, from this, from this uh, array of strings. These are all the valid strings. And this is how you create enumerated data types in, uh, in Mongoose. Okay? Uh, but let's see if we can create a couple more. 
so let's uh, go to um, uh, Postman. And here we have a put. I'm sorry, we have a, um, a create. Let's see, create. Which one was it? Add, add question. Create question. There it is. So create question here. Let me save this. Uh, create question. Notice that here I had created uh, question number two. Let's create another one, question number three. Uh, we'll do description number three. Notice that I'm pointing to the, the, uh, the API we just created, right? The one I just mentioned earlier, right? It's this one, uh, this service right here. I'm going to post to API a question. I'm going to pass in an object of question. Right, um, right so there it is. And uh, I'll, I'll create another, another fill in the blanks. Oh, or actually, I, have, I already have a fill in the blanks. I have a, uh, what do I have? Let's see. We have an essay. We have fill in the blanks. What other types? Uh, can we insert in there? Let's see. We have an uh, essay fill in the blanks. Let's, let's do a true and false. Okay. Uh, so let's uh, let's do that. Let's be a true and false, and we're going to post post. It comes back. Looks like it's, it was successful. We have a we have an ID. I'll go to go along with that uh, to verify. We can do we go to Mongo and do a pretty a fine pretty, and indeed we just inserted this uh, this JSON object in there. Yes, but what if I I had a uh, I have uh, mistyped and uh, and had created uh, you know some other question question type. Okay, uh, now if I send this, notice that it does not come back su successfully. No, it, does, it did not insert anything in the database. Instead, uh, it complains saying that uh, my my um, the type that I just provided is a bogus one, is not valid. And it provides me the enumerated data types right, that are actually valid. Right? Perhaps I could generate a, a, a message uh, for the client. Uh, I can, I can um, display and say, well, no, it needs to be from this uh, valid uh, subset of, of types. Right? Uh, but we, know it's, we, we see that it's, uh, it's working fine, right? that, it, that it, uh, it, uh, it handles that uh, error. And indeed, notice that no new question was added. Everybody OK? All right, so we have the schema for the question. We have the schema, and we can create question. Uh, the, the, uh, the interesting part now is uh, how do we create the relationship, right? the relationship between a quiz and questions, right? saying that a particular quiz has these many questions. So let's take a look at that uh, next.